All right, this is the grade three math practice test for TN Ready. This is question on this version, number 12. Using the grid shown, draw and shade a rectangle that has an area of 10 square units. A couple things of interest here. Number one, it has to have a rectangle. What do we know about rectangles? Four sides, the opposite sides, are parallel or they don't intersect. And you have right angles and there's four of them. So what does any of this mean? It means I have a four-sided figure. And you know what? I was going to draw that out, but I think I have a tool that will let me actually draw the shape, which would be 7,000 times better for all of us. Here we go. Nope. Had the wrong thing. It would be better for all of us if I could actually perform the procedure. There we go. Perfect. So there is a nice rectangle that doesn't look like my normal nonsense. You have four sides, so one, two, three, four. It makes it a quadrilateral. You have opposite sides parallel, which is to say that this side will never, is it, if it, even if it extended off forever, will never run into this side opposite it. Same thing here. And you have four right angles, which is to say that these angles are 90 degrees. You don't really need to know that part. You just need to know physically what they look like. And by the way, right angle is not the opposite of left angle. It means upright, because if you want to build a structure, you want to make sure that you don't have it leaning over like this, because very quickly the structure will fall to the ground, so you have it upright. That's where we think that comes from. Now, with all that said, I just need a rectangle that has an area of 10 square units, which is to say I want 10 of these shaded in. And the reason is because each one of these is one square unit. It told me so. You don't have a ton of options here, but you do have some. As long as you have 10 shaded, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you could have 10 of them in a row all the way down and then shade all that in. That's one option. You could do what most of you are going to do, which is do groups of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you'll just enclose that space and shade that in. It also doesn't have to be horizontal. You could do it vertical as well. I'll actually change the color of the shade here so you don't get them mixed in with this one down here. So there's another option. As long as, and you could actually do one really long one that goes this way. As long as you only have 10 squares and it is a rectangle, it meets the criteria. It doesn't say put it in the middle. It doesn't say it has to be oriented in a specific way, like it has to be wider than it is long or longer than it is wide or anything like that. It just says make a rectangle, make sure it has 10 uh, square, an area of 10 square units. So make sure there's 10 there, make sure you have a rectangle. You get a few options, all of those options will be correct. The problem is if you don't make a rectangle, like you just randomly pick 10, This is a shape with 10 square units, but it's not a rectangle because it doesn't meet the criteria to be a rectangle. It doesn't have four sides. It's a giant mess. Just make sure you have both parts, and they will count your answer correct. So this is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is not correct. Mark that out. No. And then if I had one that was all the way down, that would also be correct as long as I had 10 square units. So that's it.